I'm Enni Gupta Tuomala, a Finnish empathy artist. For me, the best of times really come with the worst of times. And the worst of times come with the best of times. Um, I feel like it's quite a Finnish notion, actually, this, this way of always finding a hint of sadness in the happiness and a hint of happiness in the sadness. The best of times for me are experiences of this new shared collective consciousness that I feel has been born out of these times. This, this global shared experience of, of isolation, which I feel is starting to open up our eyes and our minds and our hearts. It really feels like something is, is shifting. Um, and I wonder if we're starting to reach a point of critical mass when it comes to empathy. I really hope we are. In my work over the last few years, I've been exploring this idea of the spaces in between, investigating these invisible spaces between people, these spaces where we either build barriers or bridges that help or hinder us to connect with each other. Um, I feel like if anything, um, in this moment, these spaces in between have been made more visible and tangible than ever before. But at the same time, I can't help but worry what these spaces in between are filled with, because I feel too often they're filled with fear and with suspicion. For our survival at the moment, we're being conditioned to fear and avoid physical closeness, contact, touch. Now, I understand this is very important at the moment um, because physical closeness can propose one of the biggest risks we ever take. However, I, I really worry what the long-term implications of it will be, both on us individually and collectively, and, and what the impact will be on our culture and our abilities to interact and connect and, and feel closeness. At the same time as this physical distance between us is growing, I also feel like the emotional distance between us is narrowing. There's a new sense of intimacy and a shared vulnerability that's also born from these times. Um, I think partly as a response to the, the constraints and the practicalities of, of this new way of life, um, using technology, connecting remotely, um, but it's also creating this, this opportunity, this space for sharing more personal, more deep and more emotionally meaningful parts of our, our ourselves. It's such a privilege, I feel, to be invited to step into people's homes, their living rooms, to bear witness to moments of their daily lives. Um, even now, I'm speaking to you from my own home. I feel like there's a real power in this shared vulnerability, in this intimacy, in this openness, that I really hope we'll be able to carry forward um, even after these times. That's why I wanted to share with you a few pieces of, of my world to invite you to see the world as it is today through my eyes. That's why throughout this video you'll find short clips, um, little moments of calm that I filmed through my windows. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> 